Well, good afternoon, Rolling Hills Baptist Church. I hope you're ready for another Encouragement Thursday. Uh, it's been a great week here in the life of the church, and many of you already know that. We've, we've been blessed to be in a time of VBS. Um, and in uh, fun fashion, we are our missions emphasis is Ukrainian refugees. And so as a result, we've been kind of competing boys versus girls. So I've got my boys shirt on and my boys hat on to try to represent the boys side, but all going for a good cause in the Lord. But one of the things that I found this week is how refreshing it is to be around the kids and, and just to be able to love on them and spend time with them. And most importantly, to share Jesus with them. And it, it's just a reminder, you know, VBS is a busy week. And there's a lot of planning that goes into it, but it's like when you get around them and you're just loving on them in the name of Jesus, it just like, it puts everything in perspective. Like that's, that's why we're here. That's what we're called to do is to share Jesus all the time. Uh, and even in the midst of some crazy that goes on sometimes, it's just refreshing to be able to, to, to live a life that, that is sharing Jesus with others. And, and it's just been a refreshing week, even though it's been really busy and the nights have been late and long, the days have been long, it's been an amazing blessing. And so I was reminded in Joel chapter 2, I was reading through the book of Joel. It's one of those prof prophetic books that can be challenging, but the great thing about God is his faithfulness even in judgment, even in storms, even in challenges. And this is what it says in Joel chapter 2, verse number 12. It says, Yet even now declares the Lord, Return to me with all your heart, and with fasting, weeping, and mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments. Now return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, abounding in loving kindness, and relenting of evil. Um, and it was a reminder to me, like, in the midst of the judgment that, that, that was coming upon them for their disobedience, it's, it's the realization of God's graciousness, His compassionate heart, or His compassion toward us, Him being slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness. It's just a reminder that even in the midst of judgment, we serve a faithful, loving God. Even in the midst of chaos, we serve a faithful and loving Savior that, that loves you and I, even though we don't deserve it. Even though we deserve judgment and we deserve these other things, Jesus loved us so much that in the midst of that, it wasn't while we were righteous or good, but while we were sinners, Christ died for us. Uh, and it's just a, an amazing reminder because I, I look at sometimes the places in Scripture where judgment is heavy. But in the, even in the midst of that, it's like God is such a God of hope. And I just praise Him for that. And, and, and this week, it just kind of reminds you know, this is a busy time in the life, and we're getting ready to leave Saturday for Infuge. But in the midst of it all, just being able to be near, near Jesus and be sharing the love of Jesus with others, it's, it's a tremendous privilege. Um, and so I wanted to share that with you today. I don't know where you're at in life, but just know that we serve an awesome God who loves us even though we make mistakes, even though we may be broken, even though we may fall short. We serve a God that loves us and wants to forgive us. If we would just turn to Him, uh, He's ready to forgive, He's compassionate, He's loving, and He cares for you. I hope you have a, a, a great evening and a great rest of your week, and we look forward to worshiping on Sunday with you.